hello everyone welcome to my channel and this is again another video on one of the most frequently asked question which is how to get the stream response from the llm whether it is azure open ai or open ai so the idea here is to see what happens when we are not streaming the response like if you're not streaming the response then we used to get the entire response in just one shot it means user needs to wait until the entire response is constructed but if we are going with the streaming response or the streaming mode in that case we can get the response as and when it is available so let's say you are having 10 lines of uh, response in 10 lines then rather than waiting for all the 10 lines to be furnished what it will do is it will just uh, populate to two lines or three four lines based on whatever is available so in that case user need not to wait until the entire response is constructed so i will quickly go ahead and show you both the tricks so in one way we will see how to get the response without streaming and then i will show you the same example with the streaming mode so that you can visualize what is the difference and what is the speed between these two modes so let's get started by installing these two packages which is llama index and the llama index llms azure open ai and once these are installed we will go ahead and start importing our packages so i would say llama index dot llms dot azure underscore open ai and then we'll say import Azure OpenAI. So if you're using OpenAI, then definitely you need to change this line and get your OpenAI imported. The next thing is we need to import settings, summary index, and the simple directory reader from llama index core. So for that, we'll say llama underscore index dot core. And here we'll have settings. Then we'll have simple directory reader because we are going to read the text from a directory this time and then we'll take summary index the last one which we need is to read the configuration so i would say dot env import dot env values and next i will go ahead and read my configuration so that i need not to hard code my values in this file so this is the name of my configuration file okay so let me execute this cell and the next thing we need to do is we need to construct the llm object so for constructing the llm i am using azure open ai and these are the things which i have furnished it from my uh, configuration file then we need to associate this llm with our settings llama index settings so that we need not to pass in llm every other time Okay, now the first example which I'm taking here is the general mode in which we will not be doing any streaming. So I would say data, simple directory reader, and this is the path of my folder in which I have placed a text file. And then I would say dot load data. Let me quickly show you. So this is a sample text which I have grabbed it from the Paul Graham's URL. And I have not taken the entire uh, page or the content, just pulled few lines for the experimental purpose. So here I am loading the data and then I'm, I need to create the index. So I would say index equal to summary index dot from documents and it is going to take data as an input. Next is we need to construct the query engine. So we'll say index dot as query engine and the final line would be generating the response so i would say query engine dot query and here i will ask the question what uh, what is this data about sorry give complete information Okay, and then as a final step, I'm going to just print this response. Okay. 
Okay, so this is one way in which we are not doing, uh, using the streaming. Next, I will just update this code so that we can utilize the streaming as well. So here the additional parameters which we need to pass is, the first one is we need to say streaming is true. Streaming equal to true. And then I will pass the similarity top k value. So for this, similarity top k equal to 1. So this is one setting I need to do. And then the response would not be like this. Rather, I would say response dot print response stream. So let's quickly execute this and see how things are. Okay, so you have seen that the response came in just one shot and here it is popping the response as and when it is available and you, if you will look at the timing, if you are not streaming the response then it is taking around 3.5 seconds but when you are streaming then it just gave you in 2.4 seconds and the response was also coming as and when it was available. So I hope you got an idea like what happens when you use streaming and how to use the streaming. So do let me know in comments what other pain points you are facing or what all things you want to know and I will try to make a video on that. Thanks for watching.